Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is about laundry and how often you should wash it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please throw a thumbs up down below and let's get into this list. Now when it comes to bras, you only want to wash them every two to three wears. Bras are very fragile, especially the material, and they can get very expensive. So when you are constantly washing a bra, I feel like it loses its fabric. It loses its job on what it's made to do, which it is made to lift your breasts or obviously give you coverage, things like that. When you keep washing that particular item, it just loses its fabric, it loses its material slowly. Along with washing your bra, you always wanna put it on a gentle cycle. If you're washing it in a washing machine, always put it on a gentle cycle or hand wash cycle. If you do not wash it in a washing machine, then of course you want to hand wash them. They are best when they are hand washed. I know none of us, I know most of us do not have the time to hand wash some of our garments, so we do throw it in the washer, but when it comes to bras, do not throw them with other clothes. You wanna wash them separately. I feel like with me hand washing my bras, I feel like they last a lot longer and they don't lose that soft feel to them. Another tip when it comes to washing your bras is you do not want to dry them. Never ever put your bras in the dryer. Whether it is low, low heat or low temp, just don't do it. <laughs> to prolong your bra, you want to air dry it. Every time you are done washing your bra, air dry it, whether you hang it somewhere in the shower or whether you just hang it on a dryer's rack. They dry fairly quickly. You're going to prolong the life of that bra. So always remember when it comes to bras, only wash them every two to three wears and never put them in the dryer. Next up on the list is denim, such as what I'm wearing right now. When it comes to denim, you want to wash it every two to three wears. Again, denim is something you do not want to put in a heavy load. You want to always put it on a gentle cycle or a hand wash cycle. I feel like it is another delicate fabric, even though some people do not agree. But every time I would wash my real denim, put them on a heavy load and put them in the dryer, they would shrink instantly. I do not know why, but they will lose the color of that, that denim blue color. It will end up being like a faded color, which I get some people like, but if I'm going to wear a denim shirt, I don't want it to be faded. I want it to be that same blue color as the one I bought it. And again, another reason why you want to put it on a gentle cycle is most denim has a lot of buttons. So this one has a lot of buttons. It's a button down denim. And obviously same thing goes for the denim jeans. They have a lot of buttons, a lot of zippers, and I feel like when I would put them in a heavy load, either one or two buttons would go missing. When I put it in a gentler cycle, nothing will go missing. And of course, I never ever dry my denim. Like I said, it will shrink eventually. I always end up just hanging it to dry, whether it's on the dryer rack or just put it on a hanger and let it air dry somewhere else in the house. Next up on the list is dress up pants and skirts. When it comes to those clothing items, you wanna wash them every two to three wears along with putting them on a gentle cycle. Now, some skirts you can dry in the dryer. You just have to check the tag. And some dress up pants you can dry in the dryer. But if you are putting them in the dryer, please keep in mind to put them on a low temp. Do not raise that temp any higher because if you have black dress up pants, they will lose its color. It would be a faded black. If you have these beautiful floral skirts, you know what's gonna happen to that. They will end up fading if you put it on a high pressure dryer. So maybe keep it on the low temp. As for me, I only have one pair of dress pants for work and I do not dry them. I feel like they keep their black color for a very long time, along with the elastic part of the dress up pants. Do not stretch or do not deteriorate because I do not put them in the dryer anymore. Every time I would, I found like little fabrics coming out of my dresser pants, usually around the crotch area and the waist area, little tiny fabrics coming out. And it was like the elastic part, you know that, that stretchy part where dress up pants usually are like form fitting. That's the part that was deteriorating the most when it came to me putting them in the dryer. So again, just be a little bit cautious of what you're drying when it comes to your dress up pants and skirts. Just read the tag that's on them. And if it does not have a tag, some because my dress up pants do not have a tag. If it does not have a tag, your best bet is to, again, air dry them. Next up on the list is your pajamas. We probably think that we have to wash them 
every night because we wear them every night and when you sleep you lose dead skin cells etc etc you kind of don't have to wash them every night so you don't have to have a huge stock of pajamas when it comes to pajamas you really only have to wash them again two to three wears they don't really get that dirty you're either hopping out of the shower putting them on where you're clean or you're just going straight to bed unless you like spill something on you and things like that of course put them in the wash but pajamas, you really do not need to wash them all the time. When it comes to certain PJ items, they are made from very thin fabric. As for my pajama pants, which I do grab them from Target, the men's section, I like men's <laughs> pajamas because they are the most comfiest. I mean, I don't wanna be in tight clothing, so I do prefer like baggier clothing when it comes to pajamas but I never ever put them in the dryer. Even though it is baggy on me, I do not want them to shrink. And we all know when you put pajamas in the dryer for a little bit too long, your pajama pants become capris. <laughs> Next up on the list is sweaters. When it comes to sweaters, you wanna wash it every three to four wears. Again, never dry your sweaters in the dryer because we all know what happens <laughs> when sweaters go in the dryer. It fits you today, but it might not fit you tomorrow. They shrink like this. And I've had numerous sweaters shrink on me, even with me putting the dryer on low temp. The lowest temp the laundromat has. For some odd reason, it, they would just shrink. When it comes to sweaters, play it safe, you guys. Please try to air dry your sweaters along with putting it on a gentle cycle. I don't know about you, but I do not want crop top sweaters. I want them to be form fitting or even on the bigger side but i rather have them on the bigger side rather than my sweaters turning into crop tops if i put them in the dryer now let's talk about swimwear swimwear is different for everybody whether you swim in a pool with chlorine or you swim at the beach or a pond a lake etc i'm going to tell you what i do for my swimwear again everybody is different when it comes to this so for me i do not swim in a pool i do not swim in a lake or ocean i swim in a pond so the difference between a pond and a lake a lake kind of has like a stream of water just going through a pond is just a body of water that just sits there so it does have a lot of bacteria in ponds but that's usually the campsite I go to. It has ponds and that's what we do for swimming. We just go in there. So when it comes to my swimwear, I only have one and I do wash it when we are done camping. If we only go swimming for the day there, I will wash it right away. Again, only because I know that the pond has a lot of bacteria in it. When it comes to my bathing suit, I hand wash it only i do not put it in the washer i do not put it in the dryer i hang dry it and hand wash it i hand wash every part of the bathing suit and of course if it does come with like little cups for your breast area ladies i take those out and i hand wash those as well separately once when i am done hand washing it i do hang it up on hanger and just leave it in the house to dry if i am going camping and we're staying at least three to four days I will bring some soap with me to hand wash the bathing suit in the little locker rooms at the campsite. There's like shower areas and that's where I will clean the bathing suit and let it hang dry. So again, this is different for everybody. If you swim in a chlorine filled pool, I highly suggest maybe washing it every two to three days. That's what it says on Google. But if you are swimming in a pond or even the beach, I would say, to try to wash it every, after every use because you just never know what's in those big bodies or even small bodies of water. Next up on the list is winter coats. When it comes to your winter coat, you wanna wash it every one to two seasons. And I know winter coats, they are really bulky and they are a pain in the butt to wash. If your winter coat allows you to remove the fur, it's best to just not wash the fur. I do have a winter coat, it is a vegan one. I will have it linked down below. It is a little bit expensive, but again, I live in Massachusetts and it's cold all the time here. So I feel like I needed to invest in a decent winter coat. And with this coat, I am able to take that faux fur off. So it's so much easier to wash. The hood comes off as well. And once when I do put it in the wash, I put it on a heavy load by itself because again they are very bulky they need a lot of room to spin around and that's why i don't wash it with my other clothes i only wash my winter coat and i only have one when the winter is over so i don't wear my winter coat in the fall because it's not that cold 
but I only wear that coat for like f maybe like three to four months and then I just throw it in the wash towards the end of the season and then after it's done and I take it out of the washer I put it in the dryer on a very low low temp for 15 minutes I take it out and then I let the rest hang dry once when it is completely dry I take my little fabric shaver I guess you want to call that I take all the little lint balls off of the little wrist parts of the coat along with the collar pot kind of make it like look new again for the next season so that's what I do with my winter coat you want to try your best to keep it in good shape in good condition so it can last you many more winters to come Speaking of winter, let's talk about winter hats, gloves, and scarves. Those are very similar to the winter coat. You want to only wash it one to two seasons. Again, if you are shoveling and your gloves get dirty, then wash them right away. But if you are just using them to go out in your car and you don't want your hands cold, wash them every one to two seasons. The same thing goes for your scarf and your hat. I always put those items on gentle cycle along with air drying those items only. I never ever put my gloves, my scarf, or even my hat in the dryer because again, by the time it comes out, it will probably fit my niece or nephew and not me anymore. Next up is underwear. So when it comes to your underwear, whether it is a thong, whether it's regular underwear, anything that you wear down there, wash every day. I'm pretty sure we all have at least six to seven pairs of underwear. I know I do, even with me being a minimalist, I like to change my underwear every day. Uh, I know it's probably a little TMI for most people. I mean, to each his own, but for me, I like to wash them after every use. Obviously, I'm not gonna do a load every day of underwear. I'm gonna put it in my laundry basket and wear a brand new one the next day. And when it comes to washing my underwear, I put it on a gentle cycle or hand wash cycle in the washing machine. Never ever put your underwear in the dryer. It's going to make those little elastics come out. You are not gonna have underwear for much longer if you put, keep putting them in the dryer. Trust me, I used to do this all the time. When I bought underwear, I'd put them in the dryer, take them out, they would end up looking like really small, the strings were coming out, but I would still wear them. Eventually they ended up ripping and then I had to buy new ones, so on and so forth. That cycle went around for a while with me buying underwear, throwing them out, buying underwear, and then I realized that I was washing them wrong. And the last on the list is white of any kind, whether it's white pants, white shirt, white bra, white of anything that you wear, you want to throw it in the wash after every use. You guys are always asking me questions on how I keep my whites white without using bleach. And the answer to that is that I use a mix of vinegar, lemon, and water. I do let some of my whites soak in a little bucket before I go to the laundry mat and wash them. The longer you leave it in that little mix with the sun like beating on it, cause the sun has like bleach properties. And if you wanna like research it, then go ahead. Maybe that'll explain it better than me. But in the summertime, I'll bring that solution with my little whites in the bucket towards the window where the sun is beaming and I will leave it there. I will leave it there until the sun goes down, wring out those clothes and then throw them in the wash the next day at the laundromat. Again, whites can be a pain in the butt when you're washing. You do not want to wash it with any other clothing but whites. Not even if your socks are white and gray or a little bit of gray, you have to wash your whites with only white clothing or white clothing items. And then when it comes to drying them, of course you want to air dry them, whether laying them out on a dryer rack or just hanging them up. If you're lucky enough to have a clothing line outside, in my area, those are not allowed. I know you guys are always asking if we have clothing lines, but it even says on our lease, no clothing lines. I mean, it's always cold here anyway, so even if you do dry your clothes outside, it would be like super stiff. If you live in a warmer climate and you have the sun always like beaming, put your whites outside. It's gonna make them whiter, trust me. I also wanna add in with doing all of this with your clothes, you can save yourself a lot of money. You will not have to purchase more clothes or another item of clothing because the clothes that you have is actually lasting you longer because you're not putting them in the dryer, you're not washing them as often. So your clothes will last you a lot longer. And again, you won't have to keep spending money on buying clothes because the clothes you have are not getting ruined anymore. Along with you not paying a high electric bill because dryers can bring up the electric bill. I do not have one in here. I do have to pay for the dryer at the laundromat, which is 50 cents every 
every seven minutes and that's expensive too. So with air drying your clothes, you could save yourself a ton of money. But anyways, you guys, I really hoped you got something out of this video. I know I'm probably missing a couple of other items on when you should wash them. If you want a part two of this video, let me know down below and I will catch you in the next one.